We began with that red flag warning, and it is for most of all of us, whether you live in a rural community or right here in the heart of Dallas Fort Worth. What does that mean? Strong winds, warm temperatures, low humidity, elevating the fire risk. Because of all of this, the Texas A&M Forest Service has raised the state wildfire preparedness level to a level four. It is essentially the second highest level possible. Brooke Rogers explaining what fire officials are asking you to do to help stop these dangerous fire, uh, wildfires from starting. Twice a day in the summer, meteorologists with the National Weather Service in Fort Worth send out a fire weather forecast using satellite images and data. Right now, nearly all of the Metroplex west of 35 is considered critical. You need hot temperatures, you need dry air, and you need some stronger winds. So when you have hot temperatures, the air is dry, and the strong winds, it makes those fire starts better to spread. Over the past week, state and local firefighters have responded to 119 wildfires that burn more than 9,000 acres. And with no relief in sight, the National Weather Service says everyone needs to take precautions. If you have an activity that could do a start, a wildfire start, just try not to do it. So don't toss cigarettes out the window, don't, tow, don't have tow chains creating sparks on the ground. Also, he says, don't park or drive over tall grass if you can help it. You're just increasing the risk of that grass igniting. Once it ignites, because it's so windy, it's so dry, and it's so hot, you could create any, any little spark could create a fire, and then it could spread quickly. Don't leave a fire unattended or burn unnecessarily, and check burn bans. And if you do spot a wildfire, be sure to report it immediately. So as soon as you see smoke, let somebody know about it so that they can fight it and try to put it out as soon as possible before it actually impacts people's homes and property. Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.